Hi guys, welcome back to the Essex Fashion House channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to show you a super special bag from the Coach 1941 line. This is this beautiful outlaw with patchwork details. This bag is such a special bag. You don't see them very often and I'm going to show you all the beautiful details up close. And uh, if you want to make this bag yours, it is for sale in the Essex Fashion House shop. So I will leave the link for it in the description of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really does help the channel. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. I do lots of bag reviews. I do bag authentication videos and unboxings and anything that has to do with bags. So uh, I hope I'll see you in some of the other videos. Now let me show you this beautiful bag. Okay guys, so first of all, the material of this beautiful and quite sizable bag is smooth leather with suede details. So this is such a beautiful bag. Of course, it's mainly black smooth leather, but of course in these lovely patchwork designs, you've got some chalk here, then you've got some green that looks like the forest green. And you've got this blue that I've actually never seen in coach bags before. And then you have this color here, which is almost like a saddle, but it looks slightly different. A little bit more black here. Over here, you've got this lovely pink peachy color. And on the side, you actually have a little bit of this almost saddle or orange color. It almost a little bit like the ginger that's uh, leather down here as well. And of course, you've got these giant turn lock things here on the sides. To a degree, they're just decorative, but you can actually open them. And some people like to fold this bit down. And that way you can give the bag a whole new look that gives it this like asymmetrical look with the suede uh, exposed. So if you like having the suede out, that's a cool way to, that's a cool way to do it. Um, the sides here are layered and the stitching only goes up to here so that you can actually do this without damaging the bag. And you can do this, uh, and you can do this on either side on front and back of the bag. These are all functional turn locks. There are so many cool details on this bag, I don't even know where to start. So, first of all, you'll see out here, you even have like these big slip pockets here at the front and the back as well. So you can fit stuff out there if you want to. You have these lovely handles that are um, quite similar to the shoulder straps of the Rogues. They are quite comfortable and I actually think it's the perfect width for a bag of this size and weight because they will be comfortable on your shoulder and they're also so long that you can carry this as a handbag or in the nook of your arm or you can actually carry it on your shoulder with these in my opinion but it is actually quite a large bag if you see here like this is the size of my hand and uh, that's the width of the bag you've got lovely brass hardware on it which I always thinks looks so lovely with the black you've got the coach hang tag here which is also brass of course and you'll see it has coach here at the top and 1941 at the bottom because this is a 1941 bag and if you flip it over you'll see that the back of the hang tag is suede that matches the suede of the bag as well again i love when coach does that such a great uh, attention to detail and then if you look here the closure of this bag is quite funny so it's got a zipper on each side that only comes up to here so you've got one here and you've got one here and then the top remains open like this but you do have your stuff secured in there and this kind of allows the bag to keep its domed shape up here without being pressed down by zippers being closed. And over here next to the hang tag, you also have a little clochette. This again, because this bag doesn't actually have a padlock and a key, it never came with it. So the clochette doesn't have a key inside of it. It just has a little key ring in there, but it looks very cute. And you'll see the clochette has coach 1941 on it as well here. Now the bag has this beautiful um, yellow golden sti uh, contrast stitching which I think looks lovely on black as always. If you look at the turn locks here you'll see they've got a little leather part and then that has stitching on it as well. It's just such a detailed bag and even more details here on the here on the clochette is this thin strip strip of black leather and then on the ends you've got these lovely little rivets. I love when they do this. You've see, you see this on some of the whip stitch rogues as well. It's just such a cute little detail. And of course on this they're brass so they match the hardware. Again, like the, the attention to detail on this bag is just amazing. And if you look at the zippers here, you've got the Coach 1941 on the pull tabs as well, of course. The zippers are YKK on this one. And if you look at the bottom of the bag, you will see that it's got, of course, the nice metal feet, which make sure that your bag is protected. It helps keep the bag from getting worn on the corners and the edges in the bottom. 
of course you will get some wear but these make it last a lot longer make it look a lot nicer so it's just really great in my opinion goats should put feet on all their bags if you look closely at the feet you'll see they have coach here close to the leather as well and you've got this lovely thickness because the leather is like folded in from the sides and doubled here this is just such, like this is a substantial bag like the leather feels so thick and lovely on this and uh it's just it's a bag like no other for sure now let's take a look on the inside so i've just i'm just gonna remove the stuffing i do keep i do like to keep all my bags stuffed to make sure they keep their shape uh properly first of all when you open it up you'll see that it has these little things of leather here so even when the bag is open you won't have stuff spilling out over the sides even though the zippers open up quite far down so this is just quite nice you could open it wide without having anything spill out of the sides and if you look inside you'll see that the entire inside is actually black suede lining how nice is that this of course does add to the weight of the bag as well so it's not a lightweight bag that's for sure but it is such nice quality and inside you've got this little strap that's attached to the inside you could put your keys in it you could always easily find them they're protected um, or you can use it for whatever else you'd like to this one even has coach on the uh, hardware as well and of course it's this lovely saddle leather on one side here you see it has the kiss lock pocket that's kind of like in the rogues and inside of that you've got this lovely light canvas and then on the other side you'll see you've got a sipped pocket and you have the creed patch so the creed patch of this bag is quite interesting as well because this is an outlaw this bag is from 2015 and just like with the early rogues and the dinkies and the saddles this one instead of having the style number on the creed patch has an outlaw number i've never seen this before it was very cool so You'll know how the dinkies will say DK and then have the dinky number. The rogues will say RG and have a rogue number. This one says OT for outlaw and has the outlaw number 20415. And then you will find the uh, style number of this bag on the little white tag inside the uh, zip pocket. By the way, if you're ever wondering what the style numbers of any of the bags I show in my videos are, I will always have it put in the description of the video so you can go find it there. And then other than that in here it's just lovely with these little pull tabs over here on the side of the zip pocket the suede feels so nice it's a really really spacious bag like you can fit a lot of stuff in here and uh it just feels again the materials are amazing my favorite part about this bag is how it feels like it looks amazing but the way it feels is just all quality that's that's the best way i can describe it thick leathers and just beautiful beautiful suede great handles and the zippers are smooth and chunky. It's just perfect. And I guess that is the whole bag. So again, this is such a beautiful bag full of so many amazing details. And honestly, this is one of those bags that you need to hold in your hands to really understand how lovely the quality of the materials are. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching. I will leave the link for this bag in the description of this video if you want to make it yours. I ship worldwide. So wherever you are, this bag can be yours. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more bag reviews like this one. And uh, that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next video.